the electrons usually occupy what we call energy levels and the manner in which they are arranged is known as electron arrangement or sometimes we call it electronic configuration now electrons occupy regions around the nucleus called energy levels or energy shells these energy shells are numbered as 1 2 3 and so on energy level number 1 is the one that is closest to the nucleus followed by the second the third the fourth the fifth and so on Each energy level can accommodate a certain number of electrons. The first energy level can hold a maximum of two electrons. The second can hold a maximum of eight. The third can hold a maximum of eight as well. Imagine these, like electrons are packed as if they are guests in a strange hotel that when the first floor is filled, the other guests that come in must occupy the second floor. And when the second floor is filled, the guests must occupy the third. So in this case, the first energy level is the first floor, where only two electrons or two guests can come. Once we have two guests, the rest must go to the next floor, which is the second, and so on and so forth. So just remember, the first energy level holds a maximum of two electrons, while the second holds a maximum of eight, and the third holds a maximum of eight as well. Now, let us do this practically. We have the nucleus, which you can draw as a circle. I have added some color to improve the appearance, and the nucleus is composed of protons that are represented by this color blue, and the neutrons represented by the color red. Now, the first energy level is the one closest to the nucleus, and we draw it as a circle around the nucleus. In this energy level or energy shell, it can hold a maximum of two electrons. Once this energy level is filled up, we move to the next energy level. And this energy level can hold a maximum of eight electrons. And once we have eight electrons in this energy level, we move on to the third where it can also hold a maximum of eight electrons. So basically, this is how we are going to be drawing an atom. Remember, it is just a representation of an atom.